That was a good nap. Now, I need to get more silver for that compass. Should probably get something to eat as well because I'm getting kind of hungry. Do I have any fishes I stuck in a locker? No, I do not. Right. Considering copper is fairly plentiful on this planet, I should probably make a couple extra batteries because I'm gonna be using the sea glide a lot, I feel. And running out of battery while I'm mid-climb, that just doesn't sound like a good time. But first, let's just move everything from these floating little lockers into my mighty base. Where the hell is the entrance? Oh, there it is. Welcome aboard, Captain. batteries. That should be enough for a good while. And I guess it's time to do a little exploration because I really don't know where to go. Honestly, I never really explored this safe, shallow area. Never really had a need. Everything was right under my nose. So maybe a little dive around this area would not be a bad idea. Just to see what's in my neighborhood because... Honestly, all I've been doing is going to the area where my base is and the creepy viney area. The creep vine area. That's actually a good name. So, guess it's a bit of an exploration time. Oh, hang on. I'm getting a radio signal. This is Officer Keen in Lightpod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Dry land! Oh, that's good. Oh, if there's anybody who's alive, they're probably gonna be there. Oh, that's good. Now, I need that compass because I do not know where southwest is. All right, priorities. Get the compass, get to dry land. But I did say I'm gonna explore this shallow area, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Who knows, maybe I find some silver up here, although it doesn't seem likely. Another radio call? Damn, I'm popular today. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. But that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. 
I love that man. Seriously, I... I appreciate that man. He's a good guy. What is... How in the places did I not notice this giant coral tube? And this coral tube is also... They, they call it Carol? I think I called this tube Carol. Well, I hereby christen you Carol. And you're full of resources, so... Yeah, Carol, I'm gonna be your uh, annoying ex-husband that sucks the life out of you. Sorry, Carol. Well, that looks ominous. I wonder what's this way, but first of all, let's see where this thing ends. Let's see. Alright, that thing is long. Now, let's see these broken sides. Should be careful because Cave disorientation is a real thing. Luckily this is, well, a very short tube and then I'm out. This? This is sandstone. That means that lead, lead, gold and silver, everything I can get from sandstone. Oh, that means I only need one more silver. And I can make a compass. What is this thing? This is a weird cave and that is one of those explodey fishes. Don't wanna deal with you. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, and I think I'm out. Okay, that was interesting. That was a lot of stuff. Let me just put it all in a locker and find that one more piece of silver I need. Wait, I... I have it! That means that I am going to get a compass. That means that tomorrow morning I'm heading for dry land. Oh, that is going to be awesome. I wonder who made it. Or who's gonna be there. Yes, there it is. I know what side of the world I'm on right now. Ah, oh, that's freaking amazing. I mean, I could have probably orientated myself by sun. But I am an idiot and I never actually thought of that. Yeah, my middle school teachers would probably shake their heads at me right now. But they're not stuck on an alien planet, so... I don't really need to care. Anyway, a short break, then I'm grabbing some snacks, and I'm off! Okay, I got water, I got medkits, I got some food, I got 
everything I'm gonna need on this trip. So, only one thing left to do. Ah, I can't believe how scared I am. Southwest. Kilometer and a half. Well, let's get this show on the road. What is this? Titanium? I'm gonna bring it with me. I mean, while I am on an expedition to dry land, I might as well try and get some resources I'm gonna need. It would be very smart of me, I guess. life pod 19 maybe I visit it well it's 300 meters down I don't know if I can get that deep we'll see we'll see I'm going to keep to the surface just in case well whoa what are whoa oh this is a piece of Aurora 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. This is pretty deep, but... What is this? Scanner room. Yeah, that might be useful if I get it. Integrating new PDA data. I'll need more than this, though. Yeah, no matter. What is here? Just broken bulkhead. Nothing inside. Up, back to the task at hand. I don't have a lot of time to go exploring this right now. I need to get to dry land. I need to reconnect with other survivors and in case they don't know I need to tell them about Sunbeam because they're coming to pick us up. And while I would like to get to the life pod 19, uh, the sun is going down and I'm in the middle of the ocean. Is honestly the scariest thing I have done in my life and yeah this is deep and I see land no no chance I'm getting down there right now I'm getting to the land and that looks creepy as hell but it also looks far safer than the ocean right now What the? Oh, that, that, that looks bad. That looks very bad and I can walk. Right, I'm on dry land. I can, can walk. I'm out of the ocean. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Energy signatures on the island's surface. Now let's, let's just clear my UI. And let's let's find the survivors, right? There should be more survivors here. Oh, these are pretty plants. Can I scan them? No, this is a bit too big for the scanner. Hmm. What is this? A fast-growing room that might be useful if I ever get a bioreactor that might be useful but considering the sunbeam is coming and I'm probably gonna find somebody soon I won't need a bioreactor 
Well, let's be a bit of a scientist, scan everything I can. Doesn't seem to be any... No room for any big beast. The island does seem fairly small. There seem to be some kind of small critters down there. And that is a base, if I ever saw one. That is an observation room. Oh, I need to get up there. Now, I don't know if these things are gonna be aggressive, but... Better save them, sorry. Can I scan them, though? hurt me but oh that's it I'm going to cut you up there you go now fuck are you oh they're scavengers great And they don't seem to have fear of humans, they just seem to see us as a snack. That's great. I'll have to deal with bugs. Huh? Huh? Alright, I'm up. Now, what are these glowy trees? Scanner doesn't want to get through them and they seem pretty tough and it's getting brighter, it's daytime. What are these? These things look like a Ming vase. Called the Ming plants. What are you? Oh, this thing is edible. Apparently, has high water. Let's give it a taste. Tastes like salty. Coconut. Slightly salty coconut. Well, looks like that as well. Oh, oops. Huh? Think I ate an entire tree. I'm gonna keep one with me, maybe I can figure out how to make a grow bud, then I can plant it? That seems like a very good idea to me. Now, how do I get up there? Whoa! These things are slippery, what are you? Inedible. Okay, that's all I need to know right now. Whoa! Note to self, do not do superhero landings. Now, don't think this is the proper way up, but it could work. Also can't scan this tree, I guess everything that has deep roots is out of my scanner's capabilities. This looks like a trodden path. Like somebody walked here. Maybe I can get up. Yes, I can, and it's 
Why is it dark again? Oh, it's getting really... Oh. It's an eclipse. And there's another base? That's a good sign. And this is incredibly old. I guess we were not the first ones here. What are you? Spotlight. Oh, might be useful. Oh, that's a cool that I could scan that, then my troubles are over. And that is an observatory, I can scan that as well, apparently. Honestly, wasn't my plan, but I ain't gonna complain. There's a PDA there. Let's just scan the grow beds. See what I can learn about these plants. And this is some genetic modification, it seems. Fascinating. This is some kind of a fruit by appearance. Well, they're edible, although not very... Yeah, not the best food around. Still, better to keep them, I can plant that. Diversity, right? seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, <sighs> I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. The deep, so... Guess they didn't want to stay on the island and wait for the rescue for some reason. Three people. Well, yes, this island would not sustain them indefinitely. And there is three bases. Now, I'm, I'm a bit paranoid because he mentioned he was sick right now. But let's see what's up there first, then I'm gonna go down. Why do all of these bases look so old? Huh? Huh? I cannot be the only survivor, right? There has to be someone else. There has to. I mean, there are so many people on board. So many life pods. I couldn't have been the only survivor. No, that's impossible. I'm not the only one that... That's fucking insane. What are these? Well, these seem to be cultivated, so they're probably edible. This might be useful. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. 
No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Well, this Meta girl seems utterly grumpy, but also very realistic. New blueprint acquired. New blueprint acquired. Well, I got myself a swivel chair. Will I ever need that? Probably not, but it's a swivel chair. Of course, I'm gonna take a swivel chair. <clears throat> that marble melon's gonna be useful. Looks interesting, actually. I'm gonna leave that here. Can't even take any more, and I'm not really hungry right now. Honestly, I'm full. This is the first time since I came to this island I can say, without exaggerating, that I am full. Now, this seems like their main base, and it's filled with creepy crawlies, it seems. What is this? Well, I can't scan the big room, that kinda sucks. Now, where the hell is that... You. And there he goes. Now, there are several PDAs here, so let's just... Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stopped being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief! What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of stormwater? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deep. Son, go deal with the plants. Bard, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. An arrogant captain, an asshole mercenary, and a guy who actually knows what the fuck he's doing. And nobody listens to the guy who knows what the fuck he's doing. Logical. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, Rain hammering on the roof. The weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made us salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible, until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. Okay, I... 
I'll give him that Mayday is a prick. And I got a radio signal, great. But in the same time... If he actually followed what she was saying, he would have seen that she was right. Bro really had an ego. And that might be useful. And these are... Oh, exterior robots. That's gonna be useful. And that's more marble melons. I wonder how they taste. Maybe I could try one. Huh? Hmm. Sweet. I like it. Well, I'm gonna take that with me. And as much as I would like to stay here, I need to get back to my base. Who knows, maybe that message is the crew of the Sunbeam letting me know where to wait for them. I need to get back. Well, too bad the Lifeboat 19 was far more deeper than I thought and in a cave that seems so I'm not going down Aurora, there. we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's, well, it's better than oh, the alternatives. Oh, they're coming. We've sent you the coordinates. That's, that's good. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Well, Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay. That's gonna be awesome. I... I need to get ready to leave. But before I do, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna plant all of these in my base. Just because I can. In case somebody else survives and stumbles here, I want them to... Welcome I want them to captain. have food at the ready. I'm gonna do my darnest that if anybody else gets in this situation... They won't have to, well, struggle as much as I do. And hey, when I get back, this could be the beginning of a beautiful research station. Why not? Now, how did I name this thing? I think I named it, but I forgot. I really did forget. Yeah, no matter. To separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as Let's your just home, put some grow beds in and start the food production. Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stank root. Yeah, I heard that guy said he never wants to eat a plant in his life ever again. And honestly, I... I understand. I very much understand. Don't think I'll ever eat a fish ever after I get off this island. Island. Planet, I mean. I, I don't know how to speak. Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm out of titanium. Ooh, this looks freaky. Well, I can make a small one. Okay. Now, time for planting.
And that's it. Pretty soon I will have food security. But pretty soon I will be off this planet as well, so... This is more of a vanity project than anything else. Well, to grab a few more stuff and then let's go to the rendezvous point. Wonder what they found. Apparently another island. I mean, it has to be island, they can't really land on water. Well then. Sunbeam, here I come. <laughs> 